All right, injuries. Uh, Duncan left with a hamstring early. Uh, he was he never did not return. Um, that's the only one that did not return to play. Other than that, tail of two halves seems like the tail of our season so far. Uh, find a way to play really well early, uh, and then did not play really well in the second half at all uh, in any phase. So. Um, Got to find a way to get that fixed. We, we went backwards on offense. We had penalties. We had a million issues, quarterback hits, all those things. Um, not good enough. And then defensively, I think they scored on every possession in the second half. And, uh, and that's, that's a really good football team. Um, we didn't do a good enough job to, to do anything in the second half worthwhile. And, um, you know, it's frustrating. And um, got to find an answer. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean, we had done. We were we were pretty good third down conversion wise in that range, in that two to five range at that point. Uh, we were running the ball well coming out of the half, and I thought we had a good chance to be able to get that. And um, you know, ran the two runs there in a row and didn't get any yards at all. Um, so that that was really the reason I thought we had a chance to to get the yard or two that we needed. And uh, it was a fringe go for it for us. It was sort of a dealer's choice at that point, and and felt like uh, our conversion percentage up to that point in the first half and our ability to run the ball was in our favor. So uh, took an aggressive approach to try to go get it, and uh, we didn't get it. What led to, uh, to Mason start today? How did that keep handle uh, He handled things well early, and then uh, you know we didn't play well enough around him at all uh, in the second half, and it just wasn't a good enough performance. Um, you know, just it's. I mean, we scored ten points, so it's hard to get excited about that. Yeah. So here's how this happened. He comes off. He came off the bye week in ten days rest. Started practice that week, getting ready for Indianapolis. Felt like he was good enough to go. Everything in practice seemed like it was good. Um, it felt kind of fresh because he came off the rest. Ended up feeling it towards the end of the game on a couple of those throws. It's hard to simulate what that feels like with pressure in your face and having to make that throw. Uh, came out of the game and it bothered him. And then you take a whole load of a week, a game, and then try to come right back on Wednesday and play again. Um, and he felt it. It was sore. It hurt. His, his mechanics were not where they needed to be. His arm strength felt weakened. He didn't feel great. So we limited him on Wednesday. Um, tried to get to see if he'd come back on Thursday and go. Went full Thursday with pads on. I had him try every throw that we could possibly throw. Uh, every downfield throw all over the place on practice and came out of that practice um, and it didn't feel great. And then we limited again on Friday and that was when we just made the decision uh, to go with Mason. So uh, it's, the injury is real. He tried to fight through it. I appreciate the toughness and the willingness, um, but felt good coming off the break, felt good last week. And then as the game went along uh, and he ended up feeling what it felt like with pressure to make the throw, um, you know, didn't feel as good as he maybe thought he did going into it. So. I uh, made the decision as my decision to sit him uh, just because I didn't feel like uh, he could play at the level he needed to play to come in here and, and win in Buffalo. So um, that's usually how those injuries go. And he tried to fight through it. And ultimately, I decided that it wasn't uh, in his best interest to go out there if he wasn't all the way healthy. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be week to week. We'll see how he feels this week, uh, see how he throws it Wednesday. But really, the problem with AC, you know, those injuries in the shoulder is they just need rest. You know, and he tried to fight through it again. I appreciate that. Fight, try to fight for his teammates to come play. but. You know, at the end of the day, those things just need some rest. And, and right now, uh, that was the right decision for him. So it'll be week to week, and we'll see how he comes out of it. But these second half struggles, are you seeing energy dip? Are you seeing confidence dip from the players at all? Or is it just pure execution and I mean, I'm always going to lean on execution first. I mean, that was the first thing. It just, you know, we, we didn't, again, didn't stop him on defense. We didn't, we went backwards too much. Execution-wise, was poor when we came out. Um, you know, tried to try to gain some, capture some momentum with the fourth down, go for it there in that spot at that kind of fringe forth and go go for it range and uh, try to see if we capture some momentum on the road and, and we didn't get that done. And then they, you know, every time we made an error, they capitalized. Um, and that's what really good teams do. And we have yet to do that um, as a team. And it's just disappointing that we, we keep finding ways to lose the games and it got away from us, obviously, in the second half. What goes into uh, going from the Yeah, we just got a problem at right tackle. You know, we got to find someone that can that can step up and play for us. And right now, uh, everyone's got their turn, and, and none of it's been uh, where we need it to be. And so we're just going to keep going to keep rolling through it. And there's only so many available tackles out there, and only so many on our team. And um, you know, just trying to find more consistency from that spot at this point. Hopkins not in there at the end. Was that just because of the score, or was that? Uh... 
Uh, I got to check. No, I didn't. It wasn't a coach's decision. I got to check with Todd and see if there's anything to that. Um, I didn't get an update on him yet, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I mean it's just disappointing because I think I think what we, what we did in the first half is the type of team we're capable of being, um, and we just have got to find a way to cons- c- carry that through an entire football game of 60 minutes, and we've yet to do that. Um, you know, we've led in what four four of the five games this year, whatever that is, and at the half, and and it's just frustrating because I know we're better than what what, what we are right now, and uh, we got to find a way to play that at that level for an entire game, and, and thus far we haven't done that, and. Uh, you know, that's ultimately on me to find a way to get that done somehow, some way uh, to get us to, to play a 60 minute football game where we can show that we're we're not the team that came out in the second half. So much attention on Calvin. He's got that deep one. Maybe it's a little bit overshot. He slows down running, takes his hands down. Mm-hmm. Why would he be doing everything possible there to try to pull that? Uh, just I'd have to see it again, to be honest with you. I don't I don't want to make any commentary on that. But, um, you know, I thought we had a couple chances to, to get the ball to him and um, down the field, and, and we didn't quite connect. And again, we just we got to find a way to generate some explosive plays somehow. And whether that's to Calvin or Hop or anybody, we just we got to get the ball down the field a bit, and, and haven't been able to do that. The other one, he's a little bit inside the ball, a little bit outside. Yeah, we just haven't been able to connect, and that's um, you know again that, that's on me to figure that out to find out how we can do better with that because it's frustrating to not be able to get those those big plays hit when you have chances. Yeah, again, I will go back and look at all the details when we watch the tape, but, um, you know, we're just, there's really nothing else to say other than it's just we haven't found a way to connect and, and we have to figure it out. How close was Lucarius? Do you know we go? Um, his injury sort of lingered throughout the week. It was one that we thought he might be ready to go for this week, um, but the, the severity of it uh, kind of lingered. He didn't quite get better as fast as we thought he might. Um, so hopeful that, that we got a shot for this next week, but we'll see. When did you find out that you were going to start today? Yeah, uh, Saturday. I did mm-hmm. yesterday. What uh, makes you guys have some success early in the second half? Yeah. Probably a combination of a lot of things, but how can you kind of explain where things went wrong in the second half? Yeah, I think uh, we just, um, behind the chains a lot, you know, we had, you know, penalties first first and second down, negative runs. Um, you know, I missed a couple throws. And uh, against a good team at home, you can't do that. How frustrating are these second half mistakes? It seems like they were repeating. Yeah, we got we got to get cleaned up, and um, you know I don't think it's I don't think it's lack of uh, preparation. I just think it's we got to we got to go execute, and, and um, so back to the drawing board, and uh, all you can do is work. It's not preparation. What do you think it might be? That's yeah, I mean, I, what I said, I think I think just you know um, had some negative runs. You know, you get into first and thirteen, or or you know first and fifteen. Um, you know, it's kind of sometimes hard to get to get out of the hole. Um, I missed a couple throws. Um, you know, you know. Uh, so it's uh, just got to play cleaner football, cleaner football in the second half. The first couple of drives, the field goal and the touchdown seemed like you guys were in a pretty good rhythm. Mm-hmm. What do you think was working on those couple, first couple of drives? Yeah, I thought. I mean, the run, of the, the run of the play action was just um, gelling well. Um, I felt like we had them on their heels. They they didn't know what to expect. Had a couple, you know, really nice runs by Tony. Um, nice, some, some nice catches on the outside, and um, you know, just complimentary football. What happened from there? Yeah, yeah. I just uh, was just saying. You know, I felt like we had some, we had some penalties first and second down in the second half. Had some negative runs, put us behind the chains. I missed a couple throws. You know, missed some, missed a couple throws, and and uh, you can't do that against a good team at home. Yeah, I got I got some reps, you know, um, you know, a few here and there uh, each day, but uh, um, you know, not not all. Just sitting at one and five, I mean, what, what's what's it feel like in the locker room right now? How do you kind of like the ship with eleven to go? Yeah, it's um, it's it's, it's not fun, and um, all you can do is get back to get back to Tennessee and 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 uh, keep working and um, figure out a good plan for Detroit, but. Uh, um, we got we got good guys in the locker room. There's no there's no quit. Um, we're gonna just take it back day by day and keep keep uh, keep keeping each other accountable. You guys were rolling a little bit in the first half, ten points, and the second half, none. Yeah. From your perspective, right, is there a field thing about the difference, or what would it seem to be the? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I thought, you know, the defense did a darn good job. I mean, they, 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 they kept them, you know, we, we put them on a short field, I think coming out of half, I think in the third quarter, we, we, we go for it there on fourth down, get stuffed, put them on a short field, they score. So, um, you know, I, I love the aggressiveness from coach, but we, we just got to do a better job of converting and, and not putting our defense in a bad spot. Yeah, and I know it's quick, like right after, but to your recollection, uh, I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I think they were playing, you know, a lot of the same coverages from a from a secondary perspective. But um, we just, you know, we had some false starts. We had a holding call. You know, um, had some, you know, minus three runs, minus two runs. We we weren't playing from second and six, which is, uh, you know, what you got to do in this league to win. Do you expect to get more the rest of the week given the Mills situation? All I can do is, is uh, you know, attack the reps that I've been given. He's doing his uh, his best to, to come back and, and get healthy and, and work through it. Um, you know, no, I mean, I, I I've had one in college, but there's no real advice. I mean, it's it's just a it's just kind of a time time situation.